Alex Jones here with a breaking emergency alert for Infowars.com. We are here in Texas and have military sources at a major Air Force base in West Texas that have reported to us the unprecedented event of secret nuclear weapons that were stored there being removed and transferred out of the base today to be shipped to South Carolina. Now, the reason this is unprecedented is the B-1 bombers that were located there took off last week. The B-1 bombers located in the Dakotas blasted off last week. They are only to be used in emergencies because they've been quasi-mothballed. They were designed in the 70s and 80s, the B-1B, to launch strikes inside Russia. They fly about 100 feet off the ground with ground-following radar. Now, Obama said in his speech last Saturday that the forces are in place for Syria, but Syria and Iran have said they're going to strike Israel, and then Israel is going to strike them, probably with nuclear weapons. Then Russia, that has alliances, will then respond, and then you know what happens. The rest is history. We are on the edge of the beginning of World War III. We've talked to our Russian sources high up in the Russian press. They are absolutely concerned at a level not seen since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Now, this can be averted, but three separate times in modern history, we've come very close to nuclear war. The Cuban Missile Crisis is one of the most well-known, but there's been other events. This is historic times happening. Now, Anthony Gucciardi, who works with InfoWars.com and with his site StoryLeak, Dot com is here. He's just published the article to Infowars.com, breaking this down. Anthony, you also called the Air Force Base today, and we're going to play that clip in a moment. But first, give us your take on this. Exactly. And the key thing here is that this Air Force Base, Dias Air Force Base, which is here in Texas, these nuclear warheads are not just gone. They're not just going somewhere. It's, it says North, uh, South Carolina, but we don't even know. That's just what the trucker told this high-level military officer here. And he's saying that not only do we not know where they were, but there was no, sing no signature. There was no on-record paper here. So the point is this military commander came out and gave the authorization to take out these nuclear warheads and bring them wherever. And as we've talked about for months, maybe even years now, the whole thing isn't even about Syria. It's really a hot war with Russia. And the media has gone on record now saying that whether Obama knows it or not, and he does, it's a hot war with Russia. That's always been the thing. There's no reason to have nuclear warheads to go against Syria. We could wipe out Syria if we wanted to. But Putin has gone now and said that it is likely a staged attack, the chemical attacks in Syria, to start a war. We've had Ron Paul, Pat Buchanan. We've had others come out. Now, even Rush Limbaugh saying it's likely some type of staged event. And what's coming down now is we know that Israel started all of this by attacking the Russell Mischel casters and Russia went ahead and responded with 160,000 troops for immediate combat readiness with naval and aerial forces. And this is the United States taking a nuke as Russia has these combat readiness troops on the border ready for anything. And who knows what they're going to do with it. I think, and Alex can give you his take on this strategically and militarily, this is meant for Russia, not Syria. Anthony, 100% it's meant for Russia. They've got cruise missiles, they've got bombs, they've got nukes, anything they would need if they decided to go nuclear in that region on those five missile cruisers that have arrived with aircraft carriers now showing up. These particular bombers, B-1s and B-2s that have also left uh, their base in Missouri, are meant to fly in with stealth capabilities and bomb Moscow, bomb major sites inside Russia with heavy megaton bombs that can get down into deep bases. Because a cruise missile can only carry a smaller warhead generally. They have a few larger ones. But without getting into all the strategy here, we hope that things can be de-escalated. But as Obama said, the forces are in place of his military. And so they definitely want this world crisis uh, to basically intimidate the world into giving into their demands for more globalism, more world government, and to continue to expand the hegemonic rule of the United States itself captured uh, by the globalists. But this is very historical what's happening because the B-1 bombers, the B-2 bombers, uh, the fighter aircraft, they're all being put in Diego Garcia, 
uh, out there just south uh, of the Persian Gulf uh, in the middle uh, of the ocean. Uh, they're all being moved into Cyprus. All of this is on record to go in and have a major war with Russia, not with Syria. So uh, as even USA Today has reported, the U.S. is now in a hot war with Russia through the proxy of Syria. Only public backlash can stop this. And that's already happened to a certain extent with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Dempsey, saying we do not want war uh, with Syria. It could lead to a Russian war uh, with many members of the Congress saying they don't want this. We need sanity to prevail here. We need people to go to Infowars.com and StoryLeak.com that mirrors it and PrisonPlanet.com and get this article with all the documentation out to everyone they know. But you better believe we're in danger when people like Rush Limbaugh are coming out saying this could be a frame up, a false flag. Anthony, anything else? That's it. I think the fact of the matter is that we're facing a hot World War III type scenario if we don't stop this. But Brzezinski, the top advisor for Obama, did come out and say that there's been a global political awakening that stopped war in Syria. I mean, 9% approval rating. The world is waking up to this. So I think we can put a wrench in this, in the wheel of the war machine, in the elite war machine. And I think we can stop this if we get this out. Or better yet, who knows what they're actually wanting to do with this nuclear weapon, this nuclear warhead. We could stop a potential false flag scenario inside the United States right now by exposing this. I'm it didn't glad, count on it. very well said. I'm glad you raised that because we had the case now seven years ago, Minot, North Dakota, the missing cruise missiles mm -hmm. that weren't signed for, and a bunch of people on the base this then is got the, killed. seems like the exact same thing because they denied it too. And we're going to play one we called the actual Air Force Base. Sure, they denied the it. But they denied it back in 2007 as well when those nukes went missing. They said that they weren't missing, they weren't there, they didn't exist. And then they later admitted it. This seems the exact same thing. There was no signature. That's right. They later, they later said that it was a, just a mistake. Yeah. That, oh, we, we didn't sign properly. And then a bunch of people on the base committed suicide or died. So, again, the, the shadow government wants to be able to disappear some nukes that they can then maybe detonate, blame on Russia, blame on American patriots. This could be a globalist coup to hold D.C. hostage. I mean, this is huge. It's going to South Carolina. Maybe the nukes are going to be deployed uh, into D.C. I mean, there's no telling with these globalists. Very important. We're going to cover it more on the radio tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, Infowars.com. We can beat this, folks, if good people stand up. Alex Jones signing off. Public Affairs, everyone speaking. Hey, how's it going? Is this the uh, PR for the base? The PA? What's that? Public Affairs? Yes, yes. I had, I had a few questions. I'm from the press. My name is Anthony Gucciardi. Yes, sir. Great. So I was just wondering, uh, we've heard some reports that nuclear weapons were being moved today from the base that were previously denied to even exist at the base until now. And um, are you still there? Um, hold on one moment. Are you there? Where were you from? Um, I'm from Infowars.com. In what? What's that? Infowars.com. Okay. Yeah, so we wrote a bunch of reports. It's uh, from numerous sources that there were some nuclear warheads being moved out of your facility, out of your uh, camp area, elsewhere. Do you know anything about that? Um, we'd have to get back to you. You have to get back to me? Yeah. Is there a contact number? Yeah, I can provide you with that, but are there any nuclear warheads on the base? We'll have to get back to you with that. Are you going to check with your higher up, or is there anyone you can um, transfer they'll to? They'll have to call you back. Okay. Yeah, I mean, is there, is there even nuclear warheads on the base, though? Um, did you want a contact number? Bring it back to you? Yeah, sure. You can get back to me. Okay, we'll get back I, well, to you. Well, I, I just wanted to know, have you gotten any other calls on this subject this at all? This is the first call. This is the first call. Okay. Do you have any idea when they're going to get back to us? Um, I'm not sure. Days, hours, weeks, months? Probably days. Days? Well, I think it's a pretty big issue, don't you, if there's nuclear warheads moving from the base, and apparently there's no signature or anything on that. There was no really public uh, announcement. No nothing happened. It just moved. And with what's going on with Syria, isn't that concerning to you? Um, we'll have to get back to you.
Are, are you not authorized to say anything else? I am not. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.